Los Angeles Mayor Karen Bass on Wednesday, December 21st, launched her Inside Safe initiative to move people living in tents and homeless encampments off the streets and indoors and to keep such encampments from popping up again. Bass has insisted the program will entail outreach workers who go to encampments to talk to individuals about housing options and support services they're eligible for, and people won't be forced or coerced into moving. At the moment, people most likely will be placed in temporary housing in hotel or motel rooms until more permanent housing units are built. People should not be left to live and die on the streets because the city isn't giving them some place to go, the mayor said at a news conference at the People. Until more permanent housing units become available, which Bass said should not take more than a year, the mayor insisted that those facing homelessness will receive immediate quality housing. It's not our desire to move people from a tent into a slum, she said when asked if her plan would be. There were reports of poor living conditions at some of the Project Rumkey sites. In response to a question about whether police would be called upon to relocate people under the Inside Safe initiative, Bass said her program is not intended as a punitive measure against those living on the streets and that Inside Safe's approach is different from Municipal Code 41. 18. The anti-camping ordinance passed by the City Council that allows homeless encampment sweeps. This is not about cleaning up and clearing out. Of course, that will happen in the context of it, but this is about outreach to people and getting them housed, Bass said. It's going to take a while, she later added. You might need to talk to a person more than once. But we are focused on getting them housed and services, not on law enforcement. Inside Safe will target its outreach where encampments are most chronic and where people are most in crisis, according to the mayor's office. A coalition of representatives from various city departments, the city council, county officials, service providers, community organizations and others will design and implement a strategy to expand the Inside Safe initiative citywide. 